Hey guys, and welcome to the Gumbu Garden. In yesterday's video, I talked about so many different types of pests that you might see in your garden, but I did leave one out that I've actually had trouble with myself, and that's the psyllid. Last year, I tried to bring in one of my habanero plants to try and elongate the season and get more chilies for more of the year, rather than trying to fully overwinter it and it did work. I was able to get chilies much, much longer than the ones that were outside. But as we got into winter, my plant really started to lose its shine and the leaves started to wilt. And I thought, oh, am I not watering it enough? Let me increase the water. And that didn't help. And then shortly after that, I started to notice there was this white, sticky, almost like sugar-like powder on the leaves. And I was like, what is going on? So I searched and searched all over the internet using different keywords, trying to figure out what was going on. And I really couldn't find anything. So it wasn't until a couple weeks ago, actually, I was looking up another pest and I found the psyllid. <laughs> and I saw that the psyllid actually leaves this sugary powder on the leaves. So that's when I knew that was what I was dealing with. The psyllid is actually a tiny, tiny cicada looking insect. So I know cicadas are like an inch, inch and a half long. Your psyllids are only going to be like three millimeters. They're so tiny. And they lay these yellow eggs that are almost undetectable. Once those eggs hatch, they are going to turn into this scale-like nymph before turning into the adult. And these insects are going to be attacking plants like your tomatoes, potatoes, capsicums, eggplant, and cape gooseberries. If these insects infest your plants, they're really going to affect your harvest, if not the whole crop that you have planted of them, because they're really strong flyers and they're going to fly from one plant to a new plant to a new plant, just getting all of the nutrients that they need. And they're gonna affect your plants quite quickly because they're plant suckers. They're sucking out good nutrients in the plant, but they're also transferring this bacterial disease, which I'll list up here, into your plant. And that's gonna cause your plants to start to wilt. Their leaves are going to yellow and you'll start to see that sugary powder on your leaves. And that sugary powder is actually the nymphs then feeding on your plant. So the sugary powder will end up being below where the nymphs are feeding. So have a look just above that powder to see if you can find those bugs and get rid of them. And then if they're infesting your potato plants, it could cause something called zebra chip. So when you harvest those potatoes, you might notice that there's little stripes on the flesh of the potato. That's gonna cause them to cook unevenly. So it's really not doing good things to your plants. But luckily there are a couple different ways that we can, you know, fight these little guys. So the first thing to do is that if you have your plants planted inside or in a greenhouse, you can buy those like yellow sticky traps and hang those up and that will help to get rid of the adult psyllids. The adult psyllids are actually attracted to that yellow and will get stuck to that paper. But that doesn't help us with the eggs or the nymphs. So another thing that we can do is use neem oil. So because they're sucking on the plant, you can spray neem oil on your plants. And then as the nymphs or the adults start to feed on your plant, they're going to be taking in that neem oil and that will help to get rid of them. Just make sure that you're doing your spraying of the neem oil once a week until at least a few weeks after you last notice the infestation. And that's just to make sure that you're getting the last of those eggs. So when they hatch, you're getting those as well and not getting reinfested. But as far as my habanero plant goes, I ended up harvesting as many of the chilies that I could. And then I actually brought it outside and I really cut it back for a hard overwintering. And I separated it from all of the rest of my plants. And once spring came, it came back to life. I have new chilies growing on it this year. And, you know, I haven't had a reinfestation of the psyllids on my plant. So that's another thing that you can do is just really hard prune your plant and dispose of those infested parts into the bin, just so they're not getting put back into your garden anywhere else. So if you're seeing that white sugary powder on your plants, 
Hopefully you're seeing this video and knowing that you have to look for that psyllid and to act quickly to save your plant. But that is it for today, guys. I will catch you in tomorrow's video. See ya.